everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan. Today I'm going to be diving into a bottle sent to me from uh, Mr. Mendez, one of our Patreon supporters. Hey, thanks brother. Appreciate you. You've been a, a faithful supporter for a very long time. But he sent me this bottle. This is from Hill Rock. Uh, Hill Rock Estate is not, this isn't the first bottle I've had from them. I've had, uh, this will be my third actually. So I've had their uh, Solera Cabernet cask finish bourbon. I've had their rye, but kind of their thing right is that they trace their history back to a uh, a grain merchant so they raise their own grain uh, they floor malt their grains as well which is uh, kind of the old school way of doing it it's like the old school scotch way of uh, malting your grains and they pot still in small batches so that's kind of a bit about who they are and what they do a lot of their bourbons that uh, people are familiar with are their Solera aged which is if you're not familiar with what Solera aging is it's basically kind of like you fill a barrel with your spirit and then you like maybe you drain 20 percent of it and then you put new make fresh off the still into the barrel to fill it up the rest of the way so you've got now 80 percent of it is maybe two years old and 20 percent of it is fresh new make right off the still then you let it sit and again you're going to drain 20 percent of it and put some new make in so you're like refilling that barrel but you're not fully draining it when you open it up either so it's it's, it's kind of like doing uh blends of batches all within one barrel it's an interesting process but this i have never had this from them this is their single malt now i will give them high high marks in one specific area and that is bottling like if they were going for you know, prettiest bottle, most beautiful bottling in the States, I, they'd be a contender. I mean, it just looks super classy, right? It looks very classy, ritzy. It's kind of thing you'd see on like a liquor cart in the corner of like a, of a dark room at a golf club or something. You know what I mean? I don't know, that might be a little specific. But it says this comes from the High Meadow 2016 Harvest. It's been aged five and a half years and it comes in at 48.2% ABV. That's 96.4 proof. So the master distiller there is Dave Pickerel, who is referenced, I think like three times in uh, Lou Bryson's book on whiskey flavor creation, which is a great read. I've recommended it many times. Now this is what I think is kind of special about this bottle. So if you remember the year, 2016, batch of 2016, and the name of the master distiller on the bottle is Dave Pickerel. So a little quick history lesson here. So Dave Pickerel, why should you care who he is? He is sort of regarded as the uh, the leader, the initiator of the craft distilling movement in America. So he served 11 years in the U.S. Army. While he was at the Army, he got his master's degree in chemical engineering. When he finished serving in the Army, he then uh, became a distiller. He worked for Maker's Mark for like, I don't know, it was like 14 years or something. He worked for Whistlepig, uh, Garrison Brothers, friggin' Copper Fox, and then eventually Hill Rock. So he is like a very widely renowned and celebrated master distiller who is uh, very beloved in the whiskey community for his contributions. He died in 2018. So this is uh, one of the final products that he distilled. You know, if this is a 26, a late, you know, second half of 2016, yeah, this is some of the last stuff he distilled. That's kind of cool. So, may he rest in peace. We tip our hat to you, Dave Pickerel. Let's pour it. I almost feel bad ripping that seal because it's it's so pretty. So again, this is an American single malt. Not a bourbon, not a rye. But that nose is certainly distinctive. I think, I think of like a, um, a fresh baked biscuit with but, butter and honey spread across it. And a little bit of a, a lavender note as well. But it's all really like soft, not abrasive or aggressive. And a little hint of like salted nuts, not roasted nuts, you know, the deep roasted notes. No, just like just some mixed nuts with salt on them, you know? Let's try it. That's very delicate. It drinks way under its proof point. This drinks like a mid 80s. It's, it's, it's very delicate, very soft. You get lots of floral and honey notes on the palate. And then on the tail end of that palate, you get some savoriness, like your, like your baked bread, like your biscuits. But that finish is all, I mean, I just think of like a, like a meadow of flowers and some delicate oak in there. Just oak and floral notes on the finish. Hmm. Yeah, that is like a really easy, like daily sipper. Yeah, that goes down super easy. It's very crushable. I love that, like that combination of biscuits and honey and lavender. Those are great notes. You just like sit back in an easy chair, watch a football game, sip on this for a while. It's really low key. 
very comfortable, soothing even. Yeah, I think that's really nice. Now I should note, I think the MSRP for this bottle is like $90, but Hill Rock is not overly common on shelves. So you may see a little bit of a markup. And so today we toast to Dave Pickerel for his contribution to the craft that we all love and share together. Hopefully we can continue to honor his legacy in the American craft distilling scene. Thanks again, Mr. Mendez, for sharing this with me. I like that a lot. And cheers to all you as well. May you live richly and get better with age. Be warm and well-fed, my friends. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.